What's going on guys? So we are back at the shop for a couple days. Uh, not at the boat, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we could actually be clean for a minute. Uh, then we gotta go back in a couple days and finish that project. So if you haven't been watching, we are restoring a dive boat. It got wrecked in the typhoon and it's gonna be the newest member of our family if it's eventually uh, floating and all that. It's gonna be a long journey. So if you didn't watch that episode, or that series I think we're on episode like six or seven definitely do that but now we're back at the shop I want to give some updates what's been going on here while we're gone so for the last few days or week that we've been gone uh, it's been super busy here at the shop our instructor mark has had like countless students every day he just finished two open waters he finished an advanced course and now he's working on two DSDs, which we'll do today. Which, if you didn't know, a DSD is like a tri dive. It's for guys that don't have time to do an entire course, so they don't want to invest the uh, money for the entire uh, three to four day course. They just want to go tri diving. We give them like a two hour thing, just take them out in the ocean and show them what it's like. So we're doing that today. Mark and Elvis and Misty just did a fun dive out front here on the house reef. Saw some cool stuff and that's in between DSDs so now they gotta go finish the DSD. Elvis and Misty are even in the pool assisting with that. Oh here's another update. Oh, we got some new uh, merch, some new wetsuits, some three mils, some two mils and some skin suits. Pretty much rash guards, longies. So you can come buy these at the shop if you want. We also got some masks. I knew Aqua Lungs and uh, Morris. They come with uh, snorkels, so come get your masks. I'd love to tell you we got a whole bunch more shirts, but uh, yeah, we sold like 40 this week, so we don't. We only have pink left, but what else do you need? Oh, I forgot the biggest thing that happened while we were in Cebu. We got all new back plates for students and the uh, rentals. So we are going complete back plates, no more of these jacket styles. We're going to start teaching back plate and donut BCDs uh, and long lines and everything. We'll get into that in another video, but check it out. Misty, we need a model. Check it out. All pink, of course. Show them, show them. So this is going to be the new style. I think this is going to be uh, the future of scuba diving. Uh, where dive shops just have the back plate, the donut style, perfect trim, it's got a crotch, crotch strap, and then, you know, then a dive, a dive shop doesn't have to buy like 10 large, 10 medium, 10 small, 10 medium, whatever. Uh, they can just buy a bunch of back plates like this and adjust it to uh, every student, and then it actually fits better anyway. And the student learns uh, this style of diving right away. That's what Misty's been using anyway for her training and Elvis and whoever. So yeah, we're slowly, slowly just completely filling the shop with uh, all backplate style BCDs. So even from open water all the way to dive master instructor. You guys saw we made that video with Shy where we got her own. She's got one as well, but that's her personal one. These are for students let's go uh, hang these up and uh, get rid of the old ones so we can take down these uh, old jacket styles we're not gonna throw them away unless until we know we have enough for everybody sometimes we get in some huge groups so check that out that is just beautiful we got like four more coming Plus mine, plus Shy's. It's gonna be awesome. An entire shop full of uh, backplate style BCDs. You can do tech diving with these, everything. Another thing that's beneficial is a lot of our students, if they're big or whatever, uh, they hate using these wet, these uh, dive belts. It don't fit right. You're standing in the pool or whatever training and they just fall off. With these, there's integrated weights. I can put the weights in here and it's fine. I get rid of the belt completely. When they're doing their training, one of the skills is weight belt removal and replace underwater. I could get rid of that and they learn what BCD or gear they're using. 
So they'll learn how to do these integrated weights. Can you see that, Ovis? Mm -hmm. They learn how to take these off, hold on to them, dump them if need to, adjust them. I mean, they don't even need adjusted. You know, they're not gonna slide off or whatever. But as a dive shop owner, I don't have to buy a million of these. You know, these on our boat, the diver takes it off, they drop it, put a hole in the boat, you know, so it's awesome. It really helps with training. Uh, our open water students and DSDs, they love these things and they hate these things, especially the older guys, big old stomachs, whatever, they, these just keep falling off, you know, so. Yeah, another huge benefit to teaching with uh, back plates. So that is beautiful right there. Pretty soon this whole shop will be full of that style BCD. Uh, and don't forget, we got pink weights in case you missed that episode. Got a whole bunch of those. So you might be asking, why pink? That's not even your logo color or anything. Well, I mean, I'm starting a revolution. No, I'm just kidding. But. Honestly, from a marketing point of view, if you look out there, you see 40 dive boats. They all look the exact same. They're all white, same shape, everything. You can look underwater, you run into other dive shops and their guests underwater. All the exact same BCDs, exact same everything. You don't know who's who. I've seen some of my best friends underwater. I didn't even recognize them. All right, but if you see Critter Republic on a dive, you know who's who. I mean, this is just... This is just free marketing. This is guerrilla marketing uh, when we have resorts next door with million dollar budgets, you know what I mean? And I don't. So they recognize us everywhere. You see my big, shiny, uh, uh, colorful truck driving around town, they know who it is. You see divers with pink weight belts, pink BCDs, pink shirts, you know, you know who they're with. So uh, we're making a statement, you know. Somebody, and let's be honest, Nobody's making fun of the biggest guy in the room because he's wearing pink. I mean, look at that. White, 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 white. Every single freaking boat looks the same. I can't even tell you whose boat is who. And I live here. You know, until you're right next to it and you can see the uh, names. You know, until you're right next to it, you can see the names. You don't even know who's who. It's just another face of the crowd. But it's not gonna be like that with us. Wait until this boat is done. Definitely need to be watching that boat series. Tank delivery. When you wake up in the morning and this is what you hear, that's what I call a scuba diver's alarm clock. When I was doing my dive master in uh, Egypt, I, I lived above the dive shop. This is what I woke up to. Somebody, somebody moving tanks or changing tanks. I love it. And look at this beautiful site with all the dive, all the valves. They're all full. Yay! <laughs> These guys are like, freaking Whitey is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Koya. Sorry. <laughs> While we're in Cebu, we also got a whole bunch of new regulators. And uh, we're trying to get all Apex and Aqua alone for first and second stage regulators because. Uh, we're sending somebody to do uh, a course to get manufacturer certified for servicing regulators and then we don't have to learn like Mares and all the other brands. They're just as good but we want to be able to use one service kit for all our regulators. So now we have a whole bunch of Apex. Check it. Beautiful. Mark's doing a DSD right now with two people. Hello, buddy. Hi, this is Rick from Arizona. Nice to be here and join Critter Republic. <laughs> Your wife's doing a DSD right now. Well, my social media girl, AKA Judea, AKA my wife is saying we don't have enough footage uh, for social media. So the beauty is I could just gear up and go right out here in front and film something. So while I'm at it, I might as well test some of these new regulators yeah see how those go so i'm gonna jump in the water and go film some fish or something or 
right, well, that dive is done. It's nice to go out by myself early in the morning, go get some social media stuff. So if you guys are following along on social media, it's just Critter Republic on uh, Facebook and Critter Hunter on uh, Instagram. So a lot of those little shots will be there. But I, I was able to get some uh, cool crab shots, like this porcelain crab on uh, an enemy with some clownfish. I also got some clownfish as well. And then I think I also filmed some candy crabs, these little tiny candy crabs. But it, it was like a big surge, a lot of current, so I didn't get a lot of good footage that's steady. But yeah, great little dive by myself to wake myself up in the morning. So next order of business today is cameraman Elvis is finishing his rescue. So I need to get the guys together and uh, kind of give a dive briefing for that. You ready, sir, Mark? Yes. Where's Jeffy? <laughs> I hear him singing in the changing room. So you ready for this? Yes. You did awesome on your uh, classroom, your first day, uh, your tests, everything's good. Now we just have to get in the water. Uh, it's a really wavy day. It's gonna be perfect. We got Jeffy, Dive Master Jeffy, to help us uh, act like a victim. Uh, so the name of this skill that we're about to do, it's an unresponsive diver at the surface. And the objective of this is to be able to bring an unresponsive diver uh, back to the boat or to the shore. In our case, the shore today. All right. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna demonstrate it, so I'll just go over it really quickly right now, but Jeffy's gonna be our victim. All right, he's gonna be like face down on the surface and I'm gonna approach him and I'm gonna splash, say, diver, diver, you okay? Splash him, uh, be a little cautious. He's still not uh, responding. So I'm gonna go up to him and say, hey, hey, you, you, diver, you okay? You know, maybe he's just snorkeling. Maybe he's just looking, just sleeping. I don't know, maybe he's okay. Uh, but I'm still approaching him, uh, tapping him on the shoulder or whatever, uh, just in case he has a panic and grabs me or whatever. He's still not responding, so you remember how we did it. He's like this, face down. You're gonna cross his arms, right? And then twist him so he's face up. All right, first thing you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna, if you're, you're right-handed, mm. so here's Jeffy. <laughs> So I'm gonna hold him under here with the right hand. All right, push open the airway and I'm gonna look and listen and feel, see if I can see his chest moving. Just check for breathing. He's still not breathing. I'm gonna call for help. Hey, call to the boat, call to the shore, wherever we're at, try to get help. Call, call an ambulance, whatever, bring help, something like that. Cause this is a very physical skill and if you can get help it's better okay any question all right jeffy uh can i <laughs> nah that's okay <laughs> i trust you guys <laughs> no kissing us back yeah all right so let's gear up while the waves are still big and uh get it done Time for the panic diver scenario. We told Jeffy not to be kind this time. He's got to handle the panic diver. Let's go. 
Alright guys, I guess that's it for today. Uh, we got a whole handful uh, We got a whole handful of other skills we got to do for Elvis. He has to uh, He still has to do Panic diver underwater unresponsive diver from the bottom to the surface uh, A whole bunch of rescue skills that go with the course if you guys want to come down and take a course with us That'd be awesome. Love to have you uh, but yeah, I think that's it because we, we can't film uh, teaching, we gotta pay attention. So, I appreciate all the new subscribers and members. Uh, you guys seem to really be liking this uh, series about rebuilding our dive boat. So, yeah, it's gonna be a long series. We got a lot to do, but this is one of the hard parts. Just trying to get across the channel without sinking again. So, anyways, I gotta get back in the water. See you guys tomorrow.